Hello, my name is Joe, and in this course, I'm going to take you through how to create photogrammetry models for films, TV, and games. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. Also, if you find this helpful, please check out my Patreon below for exclusive content relating to photogrammetry, games. So, after we've created our model, what we're going to do is we're now going to generate the final textures for it. Just to bear in mind, I've decided to use the depth map version of um, our model that we processed. So that is up to you what you use but I'm using depth maps just if you want to follow along um, uh, identical to me so what we'll do um, is we'll generate our textures so there's two options for this you can generate the textures from our dense cloud and um, you can generate the texture from the images I always prefer images because generally for me it gets a better quality um, so what we'll do go to chunk right click as always process build texture now we've got two options here, diffuse map, diffuse is your color, essentially what we're seeing here, but a higher quality version, and then occlusion gives you shadow and things like that. Um, if you wanna know more in depth about ambient occlusion, I would Google it because it's one of those things gone, you know, essentially another course in 3D texturing and things like that, so we're not going into that. So we will first do our occlusion map and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, source data, leave it as it is, leave the key UVs as it is. We want to set our texture size. I always set mine to 8096, um, only because this uh, will give the best quality um, in one sheet. You can, you know, drop the resolution. It's got to be done in the power of two, so 32, 64, um, 128, 256, 512, and uh, so on. So always bear that in mind. Don't put like 8000 because it's not how 3D works. Um, in a lot of the software, so always bear that in mind. So the reason I keep it in one big sheet is because it's generally better uh, to do that for memory issues. You could, as I say, you can divide these into, say, 10 smaller sheets, but it's for practicability. It's always better to keep it in a bigger sheet. And then what I like to do is take it into Substance Painter, perhaps downscale it to, say, 4K, and um, try and get the best quality out of it that way. Um, We'll leave all of those as they are. So we'll press OK and wait for it to finish processing what it's got to do. This is pretty quick for this. As you can see, it's now generated a white mesh, but you'll notice the there's a little shadow around the white uh, around the bottom here. That's what the ambient occlusion is essentially doing. Um, this can really help make uh, 3D things uh, come to life essentially because it's it's just adding that extra bit of detail um, Also, the reason I like to do ambient occlusion first is you can see it's turned the mesh completely white So we can see exactly what it's done if you have a diffuse map on it first um, Sometimes you can't actually see what it's done. So you don't know whether it's done anything So now what we'll do is we'll go to chunk again process build textures on the texture type switch it to diffuse map and you'll see here what I said about the taking it from the dense cloud or the images. We want to take it from the images. We'll keep all of these settings as they are and we'll leave these as they are. I'll uh, do enable hole filling a little bit later in another tutorial. So we'll do that, press OK, wait for it to process. And it's generated the final uh, texture. So now when we go in, we're getting more detail on the object. Um, obviously, the more photos you have, the higher detail you get, the closer you are to the object, the, higher, the, the more detail you get. But this has actually given us a very good um, little uh, map here. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, we've got our occlusion down here. Um, so what we can do, I believe, if we go to that, we can go um, model shaded. So this is without any of the textures on. So you can see here it's very blurry. And if we turn the drop down this little pyramid with the sun and drop it down and go model textured, you can see straight away the difference. So that is basically how to generate your um, your model through to tech, uh, generating the final textures for it. Um, for it, and what we'll do in the next uh, little part is just show you how to remove lighting from an object. Something like this it probably doesn't need it, but I'll show you anyway um, because it's handy to know just in case you do get problem items. So let's move to the next part. So we've completed this section of the tutorial, which has taken us through um, basically how to um, take our photos, align our photos. Um, optimize our cameras, create a dense cloud, uh, to create a depth maps, um, generating a mesh from a dense cloud or a depth map, and then generating our not a diffuse texture and our ambient occlusion. I'll show you later on how to generate a normal map from this, um, which adds all these little bits of details in, makes it uh, appear 3D in in uh, lots of. Uh, 
programs like Unreal and um, uh, Unity and your bog standard rendering programs, things like that. Um, I'll also show you how to export this model out and the textures out in about section four or five in the course. Um, the reason I'm uh, don't want to show you now is because I want to move on to doing a full 360 degree scan because we've got just our generic 3D scan here which is very common it misses the bottom of the items but the ideal scan everyone is a full 360 degree scan and um, so I'll show you how to do that next um, obviously if you want to export your model that will this hammer now just jump straight to um, the simple uh, export options um, I'll try and keep it as simple as possible using blender uh, to center our uh, item correctly on the grid and things like that. Um, obviously, if you use things like Mare, you can jump straight into that. You don't need my help with that, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the 360 degree scan section.